Hello, we are back again with Fran Bo. I'm taking this right up from where I left off in the other episode. Mabuka just let me into her heart. I'm the keeper of the keys. We both want to know where Evermore killed my parents. And I have no clue what what is up with this this woman. There's like a skirt, but that means nothing. I don't know. Um, can I talk to you? Oh, that creature's body's made out of baby faces. And that nurse looks like one of the nurses from the hospital. Do I know you from? Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you? You little thief! Where's my knitting needle? Ah, did you stab all your little friends with it? She was the one when we first took the pills in the hospital. There was a rocking chair with um, the skeleton of a nurse knitting, and it's where we got one of the needles to make a key to get out. She's that nurse. She, I took her knitting needle. <laughs> what knitting needle? Are you the? Dead nurse I saw back in Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? Ah, oh, you little beast. Take a number, would you? And wait for your turn in the waiting room. Yes, ma'am. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. I guess. Take a number? Number seven. Also, it's usually a good number. They listen, they see, they touch. Um... I go. Looks like that's a door there, which I'm assuming. I guess this is the. Hi! Oh, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours, maybe days? Huh, I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks, totally hopeless. Ahem, excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself, that would be faster. By doing that, you could also help us all. Oh, why won't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My R eye is blinded. You're red. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. <sighs> well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Hmm, but how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. Laxatives? How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Oh, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's a very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to, to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Hmm, but who's the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. The one thing. Now I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go faster. Uh, Alright, thank you for nothing. Yes, that must be it, the one that sees everything. Hold on, I'll be back. I trust that no one will call my number while I'm gone. I think it was in this door, right? What were you, a cooler or something? Sees all. I hope you find your cat friend soon. I still see him inside that cage. Maybe, can I use this with him? <sighs> Damn. It's need to... He's part of this, I know that. The one who sees all. Mabuka knows all, he sees all. He sees my cat in the cage. Maybe the cat's the doctor. Now why would he be in the cage then? I don't know. Can I talk to these each individually? Uh, waiting was fun at the beginning, but now it's just boring. Wait. I think my horn won't grow again. I'm going to be very hangry because of that very soon. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. My R eye is broken. The big eye told me that because she sees it all. Says she. Well, this must be the number display. Okay, what, what items do I have? Oh, my eye is broken. I... 
Can I just try going through the door? Is that a thing? Is that an option? <sighs> I took a number. Can I talk to you one? Hey kid, this is my turn now to talk here with the nurse, alright? If you don't wait and leave us alone, I'll tear you apart and eat you. Is that where all the baby's faces came from? You, you eat children? Do you know that we children are actually immature? Hey, hey, leave the patient alone now. The doctor will determine the severity of the illness, don't you worry. Okay, that is definitely something new. Hmm. So I guess she's patient number one. Can I talk to you once more? Can you please wake up again, Mabuka? I don't have the thing still, don't know. Nope. Can I please talk to you again, Okula? I know that you're gonna be the key. You're gonna help me solve it all. Just draw one on it. I swear to God, if I have to consult them... I guess it's gonna be starting right at front of me again, isn't it? Can I stab her? Why do I still have the knife? Nope. God. Use you with you. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. I would like to help you, but it's my turn to help myself, so no. So this is... Uh, you're number two. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. What if I find out what illnesses you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, but if I'm still here when you come back, you're gonna still be here. Now will let me talk to Akula. I think that's the name. I remember start with a no. I remember not much more than that. My lips feel really chapped. I'm gonna find my chap ball thing. It's one of those like little balls of chaps. I don't know. Excuse me, I need your help. Oh, finally. Dialogue. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness the creature who has the ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room waiting. Hmm, let me see. I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low level of levels of agony in him. So if I stab him, Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm a, I'm in a, I'm in a very problem, problem, problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home, but now everything is so confusing. And Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuga said that I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's huge eyes were the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Thirst and be happy. Oh! Mm, lovely pain. So profound. Wait a room in a moment. <laughs> so, give us the ball is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Well, that was... We're in the moment, Akula. But, let's give you an important lesson. If you have a headache, drink the tear... Drink the tear... Sorrow-filled tears of a small child. In fact. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me? Ha ha ha, lovely, let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. That's my tears. Give me more, give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right, here you go. And thank you, your tears taste absolutely delicious. How do you know they're my tears? Other than the fact that I just kind of scream them to the sky. Will you ring two now? Yes! Now that I talk to you, do I have to show you my ticket? <laughs> Shoot, it's not your- Yes, it is. 
It just read number two. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I want to find him. I lost kitty? Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their mind instead. Huh. Lucky. But how do I get an appointment, then? Oh, uh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. Yes. Are you insane? <laughs> but why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that'd be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. All right, I'll go make the call then. Now I use the phone. Oh god, do I have to? Oh god, I have to remember that number down, don't I? Ah, uh, where's my pen and paper? Ah! Ah! Microphone! Microphone! Don't judge me. It's in this door, right? I need the thing, and then I need the. I need. I need the slip. Examine. Are you insane? Call us. Jesus. Two, two, one, Alright. Phone, come here. Okay. I need. <laughs> Hate my life. Oh, that's so cute. Friends actually on the phone. Hello, yes? Uh, you told me to call and make an appointment. Mm, it's Fran Bell. Mm, I'm available now. No, no, and no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye, bye. Yes, bye. That's about how my phone calls go. Especially the pairs of eyes part. Uh, speaking of eyes, why does my eye hurt? Uh, and she's still crying the tears of blood. Okay, you silly nurse. It looks like you found a new needle. You had a needle, though. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Rambo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. I wonder who the doctor is. <laughs> oh, it's my kid, like a little, like a little stethoscope, a little hat. Ran. Go. Fa. I'm sorry, Jay Scary. You look quite pallid. You, yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Alright. I'll take that. Okay. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're a more, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am a more the Tilbur Breck. Black, black Prince of Darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do, Dr. Dern? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. Do you mean my tears? You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You're under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night, outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. <laughs> oh. No, it can't be. Stop it. He didn't do what I did and it wasn't me. Stop it, please. Now is this like legit thing? Or is he trying to trick us? Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. Looks like you're having fun stabbing away there. Hi dad. Hi mom. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody's crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. I wonder if Mr. Midnight knows. And he's just hiding it from us to protect us. Tank with water. Good. 
Hee <laughs> We would look so funny without skin. We would, actually. The spine. All humans have that in common. The brain has many different parts. Why does the brain have two sides? Why d wouldn't it? Dr. Dern! And Kitty! <laughs> Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Nin Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to the Thurston, my darling. Pilantras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Yeah. Oh, Katie, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dern, alright? He seems to be in trouble. Oh my god, do I have to throw the switch? Dr. Dern, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up. Please, Dr. Dern, wake up. Are you still alive? Sir? Oh, what should I do to wake him up? What are you? Strange, has a red flu inside. What can it be? Same. Oh, so I want to use it with myself or the cat. Okay. I feel like I have to use it with myself. <laughs> That's an evil face you have on there, friend. <laughs> Maybe this will wake him up. Did I just kill the man? Oh. Ah, damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dern, it's me, Fran. Uh, what? I can't see very well. Very well. Fran Bo, sir, from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran monsters. I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. <laughs> you! Ben and Grace. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Oh, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. You want me to get rid of her? And Grace? Why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran. The same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find key to the key to success. The key. Hmm. Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Ramor did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife, after all. I am not calm, sir. I knew it was Ramor all the time, but why does he hunt me? More is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. And Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. Sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. I don't trust that. No, you come back here. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> you are not going to kill my cat. No. I draw the line at that. Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants what's best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No! No! Oh my god! Why would you do that? Oh my god, and you look so scared! Oh my god! I'm sorry, I need a moment. Aww. I hope he's not really dead! Come on, 
Fran, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. Like my heart? But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> there you go. Do it, Fran. Stop it, Fran. Help. Help. Please help. Do it, Fran. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Whoa. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dern. She was sick. She's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. <laughs> yes! The force it would use the force. Yes! It's revenge, bitch. Oh, friend, everything will be fine. Who, who are you? I'm Edward, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ectobro, ectoprote, plantras, monokaist. Groska, Edward. I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. But he's so fluffy. He kind of makes me feel a little bit better right now, because I'm still very upset. Unless Mr. Midnight's okay, I'm going to be upset. Yes! Oh, please talk to me. Cuddle me. Do something. Cats are magical, you know. Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yeah, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Rand, and you'll be able to walk towards the light. <laughs> Fran's okay, your kid is alive. Everything is gonna be okay now. I'm going purple. Oh, hi. Are you the bullet in me? Edward, you look a little too happy with what's going on, and then Mr. Miner just looks real stoned. Just like, I've seen some shit, man. They speak to me, you know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> am, I, am I alive? Is she, is she okay? Is the blood gonna stop now? Oh, what happened? Edward, Blontras? My heart hurts. Mr. Miner, how? You're alive, my kitty. I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? Alright. Dr. Dern, look, this is it word in Pelotras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Can you believe me now? Hi. Oh! He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. You really must leave. Now. <laughs> But can he come with us, please? He has been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. I can't bring him with us. I'm sorry. But what we can do is to make him believe that all of this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess. As long as he is safe. That's very kind. You finally see him beyond your own desires. You are becoming one with everything. Your parents will be very proud of you. You really think so? Well, thank you, Palantras. <laughs> oh. Now let's send Dr. Dern home. Marcel Dern Onium Vecma Sudensla Ecto. I'm happy now. I'm gonna go hug my cat after this. Goodbye, Dr. Dern. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. Hehe, <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. Is he gonna talk to us, or was that all in our head? <laughs> I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know... That between guilt and fear... I chose happiness. I 
I swear to god if this is the end, I don't know what to make of it, because this is just some, like, after-school special shit. <laughs> Yep, it, that, that's the end. Achievement unlocked, the end. <laughs> oh my god, but it really like made me so sad when Angris tossed off the cat. I didn't think she'd be evil, actually, like maybe manipulated. I did have that feeling towards like the middle when, um, or not really in the middle, but when we woke up in Fran's room. She was talking about how someone had to take the blame or responsibility or whatever. I figured it was Fran that killed her parents. <laughs> Though how they were cut up in equal slices, like the... I guess obtops or whatever was, that's something I don't know. Um, English proof rating by Brian Dennis, you missed some. <laughs> Localization, German translations, um, I am gonna go ahead and let this roll through the credits because credit where credit is due. So, I'm gonna leave this alone, um, if you wanna click away, you can click away if you're curious about all that. Curious. The beta squad. Um, but, like I said, if you're curious about some of this, we'll still be playing, but feel free to like click away or whatever you want to do. I know there are other videos to watch and things, or lives to get back to, productivity to be had. But, thank you for watching. I'm sorry, it just took me a while to even come out with this. This might be a little bit longer of an episode. The recording I have is almost for like 30 minutes. So I might be keeping it at 30, it's like 26 minutes or something. I don't know how long these credits are going to go. But um, after this, I'm probably going to do um, Alice Madness Returns. Because it's a game, I haven't really played through that one yet, but you'll I'll talk about more in that video. But um, Crookman is going to come out. I am going to finish the game. That is something I'm going to do. And then I'm going to do another of... One of those types of like pixel RPG, pix um, RPG maker kind of games. So what I want to do is I want to do like a whole bunch of separate little ones, and then like a major um, like story like game like Franbo, and then in addition with one of those games, because there are a few that I played that I'd like, like Mad Father. I really want to go to Mad Father. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that next. I don't know. First, I got to get through the Crook Man. Thank you for playing Franbo. I enjoyed it. My heart wasn't prepared for some of that, but I enjoyed it. That was still such an after school special ending. I wonder if there's anything after the credits, I doubt it. Kill Monday. What did Monday ever do to you? Uh, Alright, so. It doesn't look like there's anything after the credits. No special things, probably just gonna take me back to the. Yep, take me back to the main menu anyway. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Bye!